The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners who come together delivering applied research for Australian industry. With the world's leaders now creating ambitious targets for climate change, this is going to present amazing opportunities for the built environment sector in Australia over the next 15 years. We're going to need to quickly move from amazing showcases of you know, green buildings and, and really lighthouse projects that are showing the world how to be more sustainable and transition that into how to update the structures of our economy. How do we change our, our building codes? How do we change our procurement practices? How do we change our higher education accreditation? Roads are a crucial part of Australia's transportation infrastructure and will continue to be in the foreseeable future. However, road construction and management face growing pressure to respond to a number of challenges resulting from climate change and fossil fuel dependence. This project, The Future of Roads, focuses on how road agencies, particularly in Western Australia, New South Wales and Queensland, are facing the future and dealing with some of these pressures and incorporating some of these innovations. The peak industry body for the prefabricated and modular industry in Australia, Prefab Oz, believes that the prefabricated and modular building sector represents about 3% of the building that happens in Australia every year. That's actually a very small number when you look at other countries like Japan where the majority of construction is actually modular. But modular could have a much bigger future here because the growth rate and uptake of modular is growing and that's a function of a number of reasons. One is modular can be constructed very fast. The times are anywhere between 35 and 40 percent faster than conventional building. And if you've got a lot of demand in the marketplace, modular allows you to respond to that demand very rapidly when compared against conventional construction methods. Changing Australia's energy mix is probably the biggest challenge that we have towards uh, building the infrastructure for a low carbon future. And one of the important things there is making use of the natural resources and natural assets that Australia has got. The sun, the waves, the wind. We have a fantastic opportunity to be able to make renewable energy at low cost here in Australia. The Infrastructure Sustainability Rating Tool was launched in the middle of 2012 uh, and since that time we've had eight certified ratings. We've got another 26 registered for a rating, so currently going through the rating process. Uh, of that uh, total capital value in Australian dollars is 40 billion. What is critical is how these roads are designed, constructed, operated and disposed of at end of life. And what we're seeing more and more is that the owners of large infrastructure want uh, more solutions to make their assets more sustainable. What we're interested in is where research can actually achieve a lower carbon outcome. And that's why we're very much driven by industry and by, by governments that have projects, but they need a research input to achieve that lower carbon outcome.